Welcome everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've done a vlog because uh, I've been busy with my workout schedule. <laughs> so um, now that the kids are in bed, I can now do a vlog I've been wanting to do for a while. And I have a special guest. It's your favourite friendly naval Spider-Man. <laughs> Can you, can you actually come into the video? <laughs> so. <laughs> I actually thought I was going to get that wrong. I'm so dark. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> anyway. So, I have collaborated um, Britain's Got Talent, some viral TikTok things. Um, just things that I've been seeing online that are getting a lot of exposure and we're going to react to it. <laughs> so, uh, he ha I've sent him loads of it so that we can view it on his phone and then I'm going to record mine. So, the first one. What is the video? So whilst he's looking for the videos, basically um, the first one is going to be... This one? Yeah, a British comedian, a co comedy show called Whose Line Is It Anyway? Okay. Okay. okay, so the first one is going to be a guy who is, what would you say he's trying to, do? I don't know, I've seen it but he hasn't yet, kind of. He's basically pretending to rap and sing and do, do noises with his voice and he's basing that on people falling over. Anyway, you'll see it in the thingy. Go. We'll see if he finds it funny. Yeah, the, 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 that's the guy singing and he's basically, the, yeah, you'll see that people are falling. <sighs> the next one is going to be interesting catwalk with their new ideas on how to show clothes off, which is not necessarily being worn by the models. <laughs> this guy is so funny. <laughs> How does he know where to walk? Oh no, I'm okay. He's so smooth when he walks. <laughs> the fact that this guy literally just looks at the catwalks and it imitates it himself is so funny, man. Next one is. We'll say couples goals. Check out the dance and see what you think. Go. I really don't, I, you know, I give so much credit to these people who start dancing in public randomly. Next one is a... I don't think I can say that. Somebody doing this. Okay. <laughs> Just for world peace, <laughs> we're going to say a very talented woman in America and she is basically showing her talent as a beatboxer. Hmm. It's my 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 mind, 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 my Well, it's my turn, pops. Get piggy, be pick, make it piggy, be pick it, quick, be pick it, be pick, make it pick it, be pick it, quick, it, scut, 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 sc
for God I live and for God I put the da 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 this next one is a lady, I don't know if she's in Canada or America, I'm not sure. Um, but everything is in English, so I'm assuming it's an English speaking country. Um, she is going viral at the moment for her TikToks for being a curvy, vacious lady. And she's like, F you to anybody who's going to criticise me about how big I am or whatever. She did go online once saying that she has some kind of disorder or syndrome or something that's making her fight to lose weight um but yeah she's looking good from what i can see and um, she's just showing everybody that i can dance can you trust in me so just call me whenever you're not i'll be your friend i can be your home and you should make me your you can you trust in me <laughs> like this it means he's enjoying it <laughs> um connecting to the lovely lady that we've just seen dancing um again we're looking down here but it's going to be on here um this is a woman who is basically like i don't even i'm gonna invent a word now a feminist for fat people a fatimism this <laughs> i don't even <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> I was trying to connect fat and feminism to fatisanism. <laughs> but yeah, she's like, she's, um, I can't remember her story exactly, but she's bald basically. But there is a reason behind it, but I've forgotten now. Um, but yeah, she's like, this is me, take it or leave it. I hate my stomach, not because I was fat, but because I wasn't the right kind of fat. You want to see a fat person with a real belly? Let's get into it. Okay, so peep the apron belly. And this is the side angle. I, I used to dream about having one of those bellies, you know, that connected from like year to year. Where it looks more like this <laughs> instead of like this. I also just really wanted to be a flat tummy kind of fat girl where jeans wouldn't look you know, like, like this where my tummy is my front and center. It. And if you think that happened only because the jeans are tight. Yeah, wrong. These bad boys are loose, and she's still front and center. Over time, I learned how to love and embrace my stomach, and not because she became the right kind of fat, but because I learned how to find pants that made me feel the most confident. And I realized that everyone else is irrelevant, and I should wear what the I want. Bye, chunky people. So, she tags into what I've been saying in one of my previous vlogs before I started the weight loss journey. Um, the exposing Primark, um, which I'll link below, or I'll you know, put it in here when I showed you that I can have the same trousers from Primark, uh, the same size anyway, um, and I can pick the same size that I would actually wear in Primark, uh, Tesco's brand, which is Florist and Fred, and any other, you know, H&M or whatever, but they will not all fit, because it's their version of their size. So, our next one, so this one, I put in because um, I'm reacting to it in an inspiring way. It's a lady who, um, she has been poorly. Again, I can't remember exactly what her situation was, but I'm sure it'll be obvious on the video when I invert it. Um, and her mum is showing how far she's come um, in being able to walk by herself. You could, like you just then did it, right? Trust in yourself and I know you so can do it. it. Mummy trust you a lot. Oh. Usually they, they can't walk. Come on. But she is okay. It's okay. Oh, she's Come so on. Pretty. She's so happy. It's a very tiny step, sweetheart. You did it just right Come before. Come so encouraging. Good. 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 One, two, three. Go on. Go. Yes. Yes, I did. Oh. Oh. yes you did. Such approval as well. That is so cute. <laughs> so this next one is um, adults only game. Um, and it's <laughs> trying to catch a pickle with our mouth. It's not even a pickle from what I can see. It's like a sweet corn. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like a cob corn of cob, but they call it a pickle, so whatever. And they're all just like, <laughs> yeah. Go, go on. She's 
Yeah. Uh huh. So seductive. I take you to the candy shop. <laughs> Can you do that? Can you? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. Okay, comment down below if you want to see him doing that challenge. Right, this is, I'm guessing, an Asian country. I'm not sure which. Um, but it's this <laughs> cheeky, cute little kid pretending to be a mime. And he's just funny as hell. He's so cheeky and cute. And I just thought his performance was so funny. And like, oh, I'm going to eat him. <laughs> Turning around. Video. <laughs> it, I don't even know what the dog is. It's like Peanut. The dog? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it looks like a chihuahua to me. <laughs> the smelling. <laughs> but yeah, he's basically kicking somebody, but it's like they've put the kicking in timing, perfect time into the Kung Fu song. Anyway, you'll see. Everybody wants Kung Fu <laughs> So wait, this next one is, I'm guessing the voice, because of the way the stage is. There's so many competitions out there, so it's hard. Um, and it's one of those things where they look at, not look at them, but they, I think they base it on the crowd and they're like, hmm, they're not sure, but she, this lady impresses them. That was unbelievable. That was special. Thank you. Literally spectacular. Oh What's your name? Um, what's my name? <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> I knew this. Um, my name's Julianne Bell. I'm a, um, a voice teacher and I live in regional Australia. Queensland. Wow. <laughs> um, I'm not. I'm not sure if I don't. I, I mean, I've never met you guys before. Or anything, and I, I should probably um, let you know that um, I actually can't see. I can't see you at all, so I'm standing here not certain um, if any of you actually turned around or if well, you turned around. Oh, we turned. <laughs> all four all of us. All four. Yeah. All turned oh, really? around. <laughs> <laughs> that is truly a blind audition, my gosh. 
I think I should do that. If I ever go that, I'm just going to blindfold myself and just whatever. This next one is... I don't know if you're going to call it stupid or interesting or what other YouTuber call me Chris says high key low key stupid but good because he basically this guy cre creates a shower slash dryer so a human car wash in his flat and seen this I think he just said um you know your reactions are really not reacting um, <laughs> you just sat there like <laughs> um but yeah but this next one is um I'm best I'm guessing it's an army based um friend group or family group and they've basically made this wonderful wonderful dance based on the experience of Military. military relationships and having family and then losing them in the war. It's really great how they do that yeah. with their bodies. Yeah.
if my three kids go to the, the army, you know. If any of our three kids went into the army, what would you be? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, hell no. Oh my God, I don't think I'd be able to do it. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So. Okay, next one, trigger warning. If you're not good at miss joints or whatever and you're going to be sick, I implore you to skip this bit because it's a group of dancers from Kenya, I think. I recognise the colours, I think. Not Kenya. I think it's Kenya. I, I know it's Africa. Well, yeah, but I think it's Kenya. I'm going to double check later. So I'm really, I say sorry now if it's wrong. <laughs> but yeah, um, they have this amazing dancing talent, but it gets squeamish. Even if I could do that, <laughs> yeah, my god. <sighs> right, this next one now that I'm, bleh. um, he has been recently on Britain's Got Talent. Um, he has a group of people where they dance using their arms and they create words as well, patterns, stuff like that. But he, he does it like he's a conductor. He's not always looking at them half the time, so it's like they've really practiced the rhythm, the timing, everything. <clears throat> actually uh, because this one likes dancing so I want to see his reaction are oh, these the dance these are the dancing dads I'll say no, no more <laughs> I think I've seen this as well actually no it's not dancing dads it's kids no, it's kids yeah. no, kids make a mistake okay no. No, 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 no.
But yeah, I think Simon's good. face is like, we've seen a lot of dances, what makes you any different, you know what Simon's like. Um, stop. So this next one, I put it in on purpose because all the thunderstorms that have been going on around the world, making disasters in areas where people live, the familiar faces of Oprah and The Rock, aka Dwayne Johnson, were recently told off by public and by the media and by tiktokers and everyone else because they are asking people to send money to these countries where these people need the help and i agree with them that they should be told off because everybody everywhere in the eco system <laughs> system in any way you go Everywhere is hitting the cost of living crisis, whether it be here in the UK, in the US, whatever. If you see it in the, in the news, it's everywhere. Everybody's struggling. And then you've got these two people who have millions of money, billions of money, no people who have millions and billions of money, and they're asking the public for money. Get some of yours! <laughs> and Oprah are cancelled from all sides. You're so concerned about what's happening in Maui that you somehow managed to hire a private firefighting team to protect your land before the fires started. What? You're so concerned about what's happening in Maui that instead of taking some of that land and housing even a small portion of those displaced people, you've hired a private security team to keep them off your land. You're so concerned about Maui that you simply haven't had time to denounce any of the shady real estate deals which are robbing people of everything they have. You know, like the ones you were involved in that helped you acquire that land for pennies on the dollar of what it was actually worth. You're so concerned about Maui that instead of taking what would amount to a year's salary for you and four or five of your billionaire friends, which could be used to rebuild the entire place in a matter of months, you're jumping on social media and asking the American public, most of whom can't afford to pay their rent right now, to do it for you. You're so concerned about Maui that it's more important that you get social media points than that you help. Mm-hmm. Because let's admit it, on social media, the more likes you get, the more points you get, or whatever, it's attracting more more business to you. You know, even on YouTube, I'm not gonna lie, the more likes you get, the more subscriptions. Everybody who does YouTube knows that it's a way of making money. Some people do it as a outlet like me, some people do it as a business making. And she's true, even me, even here in the UK, we have children in need. And every year they have some celebrity don't they saying oh please donate mm. to this please yeah. donate to that it's like you fucking donate yours <laughs> we're struggling to pay rent here hello <laughs> where's the last time you took a pay cut yours <laughs> we're struggling to pay rent here hello <laughs> where's the last time you took a pay cut i mean i might be wrong you know behind the scenes they might be giving stuff i know that there are some people who do support charities behind the scenes um but even maui is a hawaiian place so that's close to Dwayne's heart really because that's his home and so this is a TikTok that went viral after every holiday summer holidays Christmas holidays when it comes to parents and their kids <laughs> this is what is typically gonna happen when your kid goes back to school <coughs> 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 Literally what we say, <laughs> but not in the kid's presence, obviously, it's not. Um, so, this is a guy, um, he's a Filipino, um, I, I think, I can't remember his name now, Just Nurse John, I think it is, I'll double check. He's hilarious for taking nursing situations and basically taking the piss out of it for what nurses would like to react as, basically. So, this is what, the songs that you would sing to. Um, when you're shot stabbed. <laughs> I'm 
Yeah. So what you would <laughs> Can you relate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you notes on duty? <clears throat> right. Wait, this next one is fucking hilarious. Um, don't worry, it's not the kids category for this, so yeah. Um, if you've ever seen the movie Sister Act or Sister Act 2 with Whoopi Goldberg, um, this is some nuns who are really good at hula hoops, not nuns, ladies dressed up dressed in nuns costumes. Hmm. Who are very good at hula hoops, hula workouts, whatever, and they basically take the song from Sister Act and I'll say no more. John, I think that's his name, I'm pretty sure of it. I have more um, clips of him because he's fucking hilarious with his nursing situations. However, um, we're going to finish this lovely vlog on a bit of comedy. Uh, so this is the point of view, your nurses don't take shit. <laughs> nurse, nurse, nurse Marites, how are you? F you. What did you say? F you. Pack me. Oh, hey, if you pack me, Who's gonna pack and take care of you? There's only two nurses in this packing floor. And that one other packing nurse, she's gonna be packed up if she's alone, if I'm packed. Okay? So the next time, think before you pack Did anyone. Who's, who's gonna pack and take care of you? <laughs> Not me, because I'm packed. Hey nurse, can you please write a verbal order? You want me to write a verbal order? Yes. Oh, but that's not my job. That's oh. your job. If I do your job, then what's your job <laughs> then? Huh? And I'm gonna lose my license if I do this and something happen. I'm feeding five people in my family. <laughs> Apparently, you guys are. Hi, my dad wants ice chips. On. My dad wants ice chips. Ice. Oh, yeah. Why didn't you get it? What's the purpose of your life? <laughs> well, you're you're the nurse. Are you disabled? Oh. No. You wanna be admitted here? I can admit you. I mean, apparently, you're mad at me. Oh, you are. Well, guess what? I'm here to save your life, but you're too late. <laughs> You want me to give you your walker? Yeah. So you cannot get it? Who's gonna give you your walker when you're at home? The two kids in your bathroom? <laughs> Mr. Smith, just take your medication. I don't want it. You don't it. want to? Oh, well, guess what? I guess you're gonna die here with me, okay? I'm gonna die with high blood pressure because of you, and you're gonna die because you didn't take your medication. <laughs> don't fuck with your nurses. <laughs> You know what, you can really relate to these nurses situations, can you? <laughs> You've got no idea what this guy sees in AD. Shit, man. Yeah, so, yeah. I just tried to control myself. Did you... <laughs> <laughs> Why do you guys say that? You have a saying in the hospital, don't you? We have a right to refuse care. So don't mess with him <sighs> if you see him, because he will refuse to care for you. Yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah. So, um... What's it called? Yeah, that's the end of the vlog. Um, what did you think, love? Hmm? What did you think? Did you enjoy it's, it? It's good. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay, out of all of them, which one would you say was most entertaining? The last one. <laughs> you're so... You're the so... last one. And the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Beat <-box girl. laughs> Um, <clears throat> okay, and 
what would you say about the inspirational ones, which were the lady who was singing, the one who was saying about, I'm showing off my fat tummy, this and that, and the other one who was dancing because she's fat. What would you say about them? You What's forgot, your review? You forgot about the cerebral palsy? <gasps> yes, I well did. Well done to her. I know, right? Yeah. Honestly, you know what, I'm, Mama, if you're encouraging her, keep going because it's clearly working and she's getting there and she's so happy. Yeah, most of the people who have cerebral palsy they can't even walk. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. That was a good progress. I know, right? Well done. But yeah, um, so if you enjoyed it, as always, like the vlog. Um, I'm not going to go to the gym tomorrow for my own reasons. <sighs> I can't feel my legs up to today. Um, but yeah, so if you want to comment down below which one was your best video or why, please do. If you would like to see him in another reaction vlog, comment down below. If you don't like to see him, comment down below. <laughs> Just for the hell of it, if you don't want to see him, comment down below. I fucking hate you. <laughs> don't fucking like you <laughs> with a P <laughs> if you're Filipino you know what joke we're on about so yeah um, thank you all for watching we hope you have a lovely rest of Tuesday night is it? are we on Tuesday night yeah. still? yeah but yeah um, thank you, god bless and good night and subscribe